So I was chatting the other day uh, with a uh, police officer online who was commenting on uh, an article I wrote about jury nullification. And he didn't like the idea that you could use uh, your rights and powers as a juror to nullify a law, a bad law or unjust law, in the jury box. And so he said to me, well, you know, it's not that hard or expensive to run for local office, for city uh, council, for um, county, whatever, dog catcher, state representative, etc. You guys, if you want to change the laws, you need to run for office and uh, change them the right way. Yeah? So uh, this is a common idea, you know, among statists. You uh, say that things, something is wrong, people's rights are not being respected, the government is overreaching its power, uh, the things are unjust, people are being put in cages without ever committing any crime against person or property. This has to be changed. You know, and uh, we're going to do it uh, via direct action or jury nullification activism or agorism or uh, protest. Oh, no, no, guys, you know, here comes the state. It's so, oh, guys, you know, that's not the right way to do it. You got to run for office, you know. That's the way they taught us in our sixth grade civics class. Well, sorry, I don't have time for that. Why should I have to run for office? to defend the rights that, that, I, that came with me at birth, that are part of my inherent nature as a, as a human being. Why should I have to do that? Why is the burden on me to stop whatever I'm doing, pause my career, uh, you know, throw away my business, and invest perhaps years of my life begging other people for money and votes in order to uh, win some small little local office where I get to fight petty bureaucrats to demand and plead and beg for the rights that I was born with as a human being that nobody has a right to take away from me. No, no, that, that's foolishness. No, I am going to defend my rights uh, by whatever means I feel are most practical. And jury nullification activism, teaching jurors about their rights and powers when serving in the jury box uh, is one very easy way, a very cheap uh, way to shortcut all that ridiculous nonsense to cut through all those barriers that st the state has put in our way to achieving justice, to having our rights respected, and uh, cut right to the chase and say, no, nah, sorry guys, I know you invested all this work into these new laws and you printed up uh, 100,000 copies and you distributed them everywhere in triplicate, but uh, no, yeah? And a prosecutor gets all butthurt, yeah, you didn't convict, now my, now, now my conviction rate is only 99.3%. This is wrong, this is not fair, you know? Um, well, tough luck. Tough luck. That's the power of jury nullification. Shortcut all the nonsense, nullify bad laws, and all it takes is one person in any given case to just kick the prosecutor and judge figuratively in the butt and say, sorry about all that wasted work, but uh, we're going to stand up for our rights over here.